guys, my name is Megan and today I've got some spooky reading recommendations for you. All right, so today we are talking all about some spooky, creepy, Halloween-ish books for you. I know this is going up a little bit late, but uh, I didn't really have any other ideas <laughs> so for spooky books, so uh, let's go ahead and just dive in. All right, so my first spooky read that I would like to recommend to you guys is one that I have not shut up talking about since I read it in June, July. I think it was July. And that is The Scapegracers. I freaking love this book so much. Um, and I don't know why people aren't talking about it more because this book was just fantastic and it blew my mind. So I do have a review for this one. I will leave it linked up in the corner if you guys want to check it out. Um, I loved this book to pieces. It's super creepy. It's following this teenage girl who has magic and she goes to a party one day. Three really popular girls hire her, you know, to cast a spell at the party to make it authentically Halloween and, you know, whatever. And basically this popular girl group adopts her and tries to get her a girlfriend and things just spiral from there and it's fantastic. It's got kind of like some Riverdale vibes thrown in there, but creepier. You just trust me, it's super creepy and kind of Riverdale-esque with some like Sabrina creepiness thrown in there and like these really creepy boys that are trying to take the witch's powers away from them and like magical spell books that are coming to life and talking to the girls. It's so creepy and I love it. Okay, so next up I have for you What Big Teeth, this book. I haven't read this book as of filming this video, but um, this just looks so creepy. Like this just screams horror to me and spooky times and like creepiness and I love it and I'm totally here for it. Follows Eleanor who has these weird magical powers develop. Something happens at her boarding school and it causes her to flee back to a home that she was trying to escape to begin with um, where all of her relatives and her family are all wild and bloodthirsty and they run through the woods and they are creepy and it's basically her trying to hold her family together while also dealing with these creepy powers and stuff and I'm here for it. All right so next up I have Seven Deadly Shadows. I loved this book when I read it last I think I read it last year. Did I read it last year? I think so. This book is very very creepy. It's set at a I think it's a Shinto shrine in Japan and it follows the granddaughter of the caretaker and like there's some kitsune that help take care of the shrine and then things start going really bad when demons are accidentally invited into the property and you know they start murdering people and all sorts of really bad things <laughs> happen um and there's a lot of shinigami that come into it too to you know like help fight off the demons and this book is perfect if you're a fan of Bleach or Inuyasha or Yu Yu Hakusho, those kind of shows. This would be a perfect read for you and it's incredibly spooky and like it gave me chills when I read it. It's definitely one that I would recommend. Okay, so the next book that I have for you is Horrid, which I've also not read as of filming this video. I'll probably be reading this about the time this video goes up. Again, this book is supposed to be really super creepy and from just from this cover, it just gives me all the creepy vibes that I could ever want. Um, and probably more. This follows Jane North Robinson and her mother as they move back to her mother's hometown into this creepy old house that has been in her mother's family for forever after her dad dies. Her mother tells her not to go into this one room in the house that is locked and being a teenager she opens it and it's a very creepy bedroom that is not listed on like the plans for the house and all sorts of creepy shit starts happening. This girl starts wondering if it's grief or a mental illness that's going on or, you know, something just a little bit more horrid. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to reading. Um, I probably will be reading this by the time this video goes up. So yeah, looking at all the creepy vibes for Halloween this year. The last book that I have on my spooky recommendations for you is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. So this is the second book in the Wayward Children series. You don't actually have to read the first book in this series. Actually, you don't have to read any of these books in any sort of order. You can read them whenever you want. So this one follows Jack and Jill who are twins and this is them going through their door to this land that is very much very creepy. It's kind of like a combination of all of the best horror books that you've ever read and all the classic like horror movies. So there's Frankenstein influences, Dracula influences, uh, Swamp Thing influences, 
It's got all of the best parts of classic horror movies mixed together into their own thing. And it's such a creepy ass book, <laughs> but I loved it to pieces. This book is just super creepy and it's perfect for a Halloween read. All right, so those are it for my spooky reading recommendations. Um, do you guys have any other spooky books you'd like to recommend? Let me know down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget the like button if you haven't already, but would like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.